Hi and welcome everybody. This is my review of the Liquid Black ICS ROM for the Galaxy Note GDN7000. Let me just show you. So I'm running the Liquid ICS and this is the Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. But you don't get the Android 4.0.4 features like the S Pen features, the pop-up player or the signature unlock as it's a AOSP build. Like say holding this button and tapping onto the whole home screen. You cannot take the screenshot. This pane just works as a preset sensitivity tool. You also don't get the S memo and the S note. So coming to the ROM, let me just first show you what you get with this ROM. So right from the lock screen, you can see that you have the CRT off lock screen. And no issues there, it's really fast. No lags. So you get this all these apps pre-installed except the file manager. So you get the Google+, Plus, the Facebook, the Nova Launcher, the Titanium Backup and the Google Translator pre-installed with this ROM. And guys, you also get something called Liquid Control. So this is what that makes this ROM highly customizable. So I'll get back with it within a minute. So, so this ROM is really fast and really smooth. No issues, no lags, no force closes. Everything works perfect. The Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the camera and everything that you get with this ROM works perfect so by default you get the Nova launcher installed on it and you get the S3 sounds I mean the water drop sounds I hope you can hear that so so you can also see that the notification bar is really different from all the other custom ROMs so you can quickly access uh, through settings from the notification panel as well you also get this touch based buttons, the back button, the home button and get quick access to background running apps and the swiping features works again. So you can see uh, we have some different icons, the messaging icon, uh, the Facebook messenger icon, what else, the YouTube icon, so that's new. Also you get this, you get a different keyboard let me just show you okay you can see the keyboard it's quite cool uh, and the dialer is pretty cool as well looks really great you can see that so this rom is also pretty good to look at so now coming to the customization guys uh, you get this something called liquid control with this rom so this is the main app that makes this rom highly customizable let me just show you so you get a lot of options over here you can see general UI that's the general user interface you can uh, disable boot audio boot disable boot animation rotation you want to, you can enable CRT animation off or on so you can do a lot of tweaks over here I mean a lot of customizations over here so going to the lock screen you know you can for now you can see that I have this a slider lock screen say I want to change it uh, go to lock screen style you can go to say stock and you can change the lock screen text color I want suppose say I want the red one hit set and I'll go back and um, battery percentage so you can see that I have the battery percentage displaying right there And now locking the screen, unlocking it, you can see I have a different lock screen. I'm, I have a different locker now. Suppose now, say you can see that I have this uh, blue colored Wi Fi signal and the battery displaying. So you can just change that, go to battery, and you can also change the battery color, battery size. You can also change the battery style. Say I have this circle, say I have this circle kind of battery. Say I want the text, so I get this text, 80 percentage. Say I want a icon, icon centered. So you get this battery with the percentage on it. But I love this circle one, so I'm gonna use it. You can change the battery size as well. You can also do a lot of general settings, like uh, you can choose the status bar transparency what to display on the notification bar or what not to so go through it 
so it's very easy to use this you don't need to worry about anything so just go through this uh, liquid control so you can customize your ROM so also you get this lot of customizations options like go to settings and here you can find a tab called tweaking and there you can see multi boot settings gpu control sound and vibration settings notification settings dock settings etc you can just go through it and you can make your rom more personal so for the performance again guys this rom is really fast and really smooth uh, no issues with anything that you get with this rom it's just that it's a uh, aosp build so you don't get the android 4 features as i have already mentioned so again coming to the battery you get around 15 hours for heavy use and 20 plus hours for moderate use so i've been getting around 26 hours on moderate uses so that's pretty decent so coming to the negatives of this rom first of first is that as it's a AOA kp build you don't get the android 4 features and the mainly you cannot uh, access your external sd even through your file manager you need to connect your phone to your pc so that's the negative other than that everything works perfect no issues with anything it's a plain rom you know you get some apps pre-installed so you can add apps that that you prefer and make this rom a lot more personal than all the other custom roms so that's pretty cool so just go ahead give it a try so that's all about my review of this liquid black rom for the galaxy note gdn 7000 it's quite different and quite unique it's quite different and quite good to look at and also the performance is really smooth so that's pretty much it so stay subscribed i'll be uploading more videos so thanks a lot for watching bye bye now and have a great day